You're watching Roberts Productions. Adobe Photoshop. Hey, what's up, Robert here, coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add an image inside of text non-destructively by using the clipping mask. Now, a clipping mask basically lets you use the content of a layer to mask the layers above it. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and take some text, go in here and type in the words hot. And I can bring the characters panel up, increase the size a little, or a lot. That looks fine. And what I want to do is add these flames inside of that text. So what I can do is go to Select All, Edit, Copy, or you can just simply click and drag the image to this document, and then Edit, Paste. And now that I have the flames here, I can go ahead and add it inside of the text. Now you can do it the old way of holding down Control and clicking on the text thumbnail there so that it's selected and then deleting that portion from this fire image which isn't as efficient because you can't move the image around within the text it'll always stay in this position so what we're gonna do is simply go in between these two layers the text and the top layer and hold down alt or option and you get this little Venn diagram MasterCard looking logo and all you have to do is click and that makes the top layer a clipping mask to the bottom layer. So if I didn't like the position of the flames on the text right now, I can actually drag this down and move it to a better location. Or you can even move the text around within the image as well. Now you can still go into your text layer style and add different layer styles here. I'm going to go ahead and add a drop shadow. Increase the size and the distance a little bit click OK and there we have our image inside of the text by using the clipping mask. Here's another example right here with this badge. Uh, you can see we have this texture down below. We're going to bring this to the top and it's kind of a metal texture and so what we're going to do is hold down alt or you can right click on the image and choose create clipping mask. You can also go to layer create clipping mask as well as hold down alt control G or I believe option command G and there we have our clipping mask and you can even add some text and make the text a clipping mask as well and bring this in just like that and one last example you can do is take the fire image or any other image let's unlock this layer create a new layer bring that below the fire layer grab a large soft brush black color increase the brush size and let's just go ahead and add a big blob let's see if that worked something like that and then we can add this clipping mask and you'll see a nice little fade there and then we can even add this hot sun below that just like that. So hopefully this helped you better understand clippy masks and how to use them and now you can incorporate this into your future projects. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.